Okay everyone, I've gone and bought myself another camera. I just sold the Nikon D750 and its replacement I've gone and got is the Nikon D800. And uh, so I'm going to be doing a couple of reviews on this, doing, uh, still got to do my unboxing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, j just to give you a couple of things about it already, uh, oh my god, the file sizes are enormous. If I'm going for the smallest RAW, so a 12-bit fully compressed RAW in an 8 gigabyte memory card, I'm getting 181 photos. Um, in if I'm going for the highest quality, 14-bit uncompressed, I'm getting 98 photos. <laughs> like, from an 8 gigabyte memory card. Like, holy crap. Uh, so straight away, this is going to come and that makes you kind of go, let's, let's slow this one down. Let's, let's think about our composition on this one. This is not a run and gun camera in any way. It's ISO on this one and also only, only goes up to 6400, which is the same as the Nikon D700, but not, uh, but a whole stop less than what you get on the Nikon D750. Um, it's heavier and it's bigger, uh, that's for sure, but what I can say from it already is this is so much a better camera. Um, we're not, I'm not talking about necessarily sensors or anything like here, but just in terms of an actual camera, Ah, oh, it's just, it's just better. Ah, uh, there's no other way to describe it. Button layout is better, less utter guff on the back of the screen. Um, it's, it's much more proper. It's got an A off, A, a like AF on button at the back, which is handy. And I'm just going to double check, shutter speed actually goes up to, yes, 8,000th of a second. So it's just every, like, since I've been holding this one, I went out, took some shots, I'm going to do a video in a wee while just talking about the photos that I took and just at ISO 100, the 36 megapixel image is just the dynamic range and the colour on it, I am actually like to the point where I'm going holy crap, this this is seriously good uh, image quality that we're getting here and, and for playing around with editing, this camera really, oh just just gives me lovely, lovely exposure. I, I just want to show you one which I thought was uh, particularly special. This one here. So a little bit of editing, bringing in the, the highlights and boosting the shadows and doing all that. But just the, that gradation that we're getting from blown out sunshine to it's hot, warm, all the way over to the dark blues up in the corner. I'm just like, holy crap. This is so good. Um, and again, like just the detail that we're getting in the image. What it does definitely do is make you kind of think, holy crap, you need an awesome lens. I'm shooting with the Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8 VC lens, and I'm shooting that about 5.6, because this camera will definitely show up any minor flaws or any non-super duper sharpness that you've got in your in your in your uh, lenses. So you so this one oh, uh, is a very good lens. But probably more suited to something like a 18 megapixel kind of camera. Um, going up to the full 36 megapixels is not as crisp as I technically wanted. But also, my uh, shooting technique, you have to be considerate whenever you're taking a photo. It's not a case of, oh, just bang, photo, bang, photo. It's like you need to make sure you are got the pro stance, pro standing in a pro stance uh, uh, to get this kind of, uh, to get the best out of this image. I think that's the thing, to get the best out of it, you you need to do a lot more to get out of this, but holy crap is, is my only uh, description. Uh, the images that are coming out of it, not that fast about the megapixels, but just the, everything about it at the ISO 100 is blowing my mind. Um, and just the body here as well, massive thumbs up from myself. Um, the Nikon D750, I found quite a number of flaws with that. This one is so much worth the price. If you're looking for a second-hand Nikon D800, you can get a second-hand D800 for the same price as the D750 uh, nowadays. I would 100% recommend going for this, unless you really need ISO 10,000. The sensor in the D750, I would say, for higher ISO, definitely better. But 
if you are a landscape photographer, um, or or it, yeah, just pretty much yeah, if you're taking landscapes, hill walking, doing that kind of stuff, holy crap, <laughs> is the only way um, I can describe it. Like whenever I've been looking through these images. It's been a long time since my images have made me kind of go, Oh, that's so good! Oh, I love that! One, the first day with this, that's exactly the the kind of passion I'm getting back from the images. I'm not, I don't really see a difference between the 14 or the 12, the uncompressed to the compressed. Um, I don't, I haven't noticed a difference in that. I, I did a couple of changes, uh, I checked with that. Um, but uh, it's just, just, this is definitely a camera which you wouldn't be kind of buying and selling as quick as you would uh, other cameras. I may just be reviewing it and selling it on after a wee while if a new camera comes out. Um, but in terms of beastly performance, I can't. Whoa, just my mind is <laughs> my mind has been pretty much blown away by this one so far. Uh, but more reviews, more introductions, and more tests uh, are definitely needed. But uh, so far, only just like. Wow's.